Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Rapid Science One, and today we're gonna be reacting to food around the world. And I probably will make a whiteboard video on the nutrition of it later on, sometime. And um, let's, anyway, let's just start reviewing it. So first up, we have the United Kingdom. They have a shepherd's pie. Um, veg grilled veggies looks like shut out the grill looks really good and some yogurt and pear It's all pretty healthy. I mean, there's some there's definitely a lot of good vitamins in the vegetables some carrots good beta carotene source um, a pear and some shepherd's pie. It looks like it's made with meat and uh, ground beef and they have some yogurt good uh, source of dairy all pretty well in the my plate be compared to that I mean you have the protein Dairy, vegetables, um, not, uh, I guess the mashed potatoes, I mean, it's not really a grain, though, so I guess you can't really consider it, and you get the vegetables. <music> Next up, we have the United States. Um, as you can see, there's a huge, uh, drastic difference between, um, what we just saw in United Kingdom and now. Um, the United States, I mean, Looks like Doritos, peanut butter, jelly, apple, uh, milk, and a gogurt as opposed to like the yogurt and other stuff. I mean, Doritos, the peanut butter and jelly, kind of classic. It's kind of uh, almost been trademarked as a United States thing. Uh, now we have Cuba. Cuba actually looks pretty good. Some good rice. Um, looks like... A, a, Roba Vija, and it's like a pork, tomatoes, um, and I guess like the rice kind of like a garnish almost, but it's, and then it looks like there's some spices, you see the little green stuff over here. It all looks pretty good though, I'm not, I can't, I'm not gonna lie. Now we have Norway, where they have an open sandwich, which, which you asked me, it's pretty cool. Strawberries and yogurt. So, I mean, I'm not really sure how much protein is under here. I think there's, I think there's some turkey under that. I'm not sure. I guess I'll have to do more research. But, well, of course, we'll include that into our next whiteboard video on, uh, on the uh, foods around the world. And so next up, we have Nigeria. They have which actually looks like a patty, but it's actually beans, um, rice, and plantain. So a plantain, if you guys don't know, is like a, kind of like a banana. Um, they're actually just a lot, they're significantly bigger. Um, here's some, I guess, brown beans that have just been mashed up together, kind of like in a, kind of like in a burrito, and rice. So now we have France, and France has four courses to their meal, which is insane. A four-course school lunch. I don't know any other school has four courses in their lunch. This is course two. They have chicken with salad. So that's only, that's only, so this is like kind of like their main part. And in the Spain and France culture, um, especially a lot of Europe, you're in Europeans, they believe that lunch is their main course. They eat like go all out for lunch. Breakfast is, especially in Spain, just like a little bit of like um, a sponge cake. So breakfast is kind of like the sweets time in Spain. Um, and uh, dinner is kind of like just a soup and maybe some bread. But um, lunch especially is where they really kind of add a, it's like lunch is like our dinner in the US. Course three is kind of like Course is kind of like an appetizer. Uh, what we have in America is just some cheese and uh, baguette uh, bread. And the final one is, um, the final one was the rice pudding. And that is kind of, a rice pudding you guys never had, it's actually pretty good. It's kind of like um, chocolate pudding, just rice. It has like a vanilla flavor to it. Now this is Russia. Um, it's not the most um, greatest lunch, if you ask me. Um, it's uh, it's a little underrated. But um, there's some porridge, and it's like basically oatmeal and a sausage. Not the best thing, but I mean, that's part of their culture, so. Next up, we have Mexico, and they have a torta sandwich. Um, and so that sandwich looks like it consists of lettuce. I can't tell if that's beef or not. 
But uh, there's definitely some sort of protein in there. You can kind of see a small outline, but it looks pretty good. Japan has mackerel with pickled spinach and rice. And mackerel is fish. Um, it's um, it's kind of it, it's similar to cod. And this pickle spinach is basically spinach, but there's some residual. It's like a, it has remnants of pickles and mixed into it, and then just some white rice. So the Philippines has white rice with some chicken. I believe it's called leche and uh, kawali. Um, and it's on top of uh, some sort of uh, lettuce. Um, is, and what they do um, in some, and a lot of people like to actually wrap it and it becomes like a, a chicken with rice wrap. So India, India has some rice. Um, and this is kind of, um, I'm not sure, it's, it's like a chicken. It, it's like a chicken with some beef. So and now in Korea, they have purple rice. It's like sticky rice. Um, it's really similar. Um, soup, I'm not really sure. It looks like there's noodles. Looks like tofu, but I'm not sure. They have kimchi, which is, um, it's where they take cabbage and a bunch of spices and let it ferment. That's part of their culture. Um, and they have some radishes. So that's what we have for now. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys do like and subscribe um, to later on. We will be coming out with a whiteboard video about how healthy these foods are and the nutrition of it and if it's enough to sustain them for the rest of their day. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, like and subscribe, and we are out. Peace.